So with the recent videos I've done about the dangers of white LEDs, that's the LEDs going in the back of your monitors, and the amount of blue light they emit, a lot of my viewers asked me about a program called Flux, and does it work? And so today I thought I'd run a quick ghetto test for you guys, and it shows that Flux does indeed work. Yeah. So I've been asked, uh, what do I think of Flux? And I don't know, like I've tried it and I kind of like the program. Uh, however, I'm just gonna go test it right now and see if it does block out or does reduce the blue light coming out of the monitor. And the good thing about this test is even though it's like ghetto science, it will give you accurate results. As we see here, because the camera is on the exact same exposure in a controlled lighting environment and the monitor in the background has a brightness control which is independent of the OSD. It doesn't have an on-screen display. And the computer essentially can't control the brightness directly on this monitor. So the brightness is maxed out. You've got that blue hinge reflecting off the glasses there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna now install Flux and we're gonna put it to nighttime and see how much that um, actual blue light goes down or if it does go down at all. So let's have a look. So we've now installed Flux on the computer and I just decided to set it somewhere in the middle of America. I think it's like 3 a.m. or something. So the color temperature is like down to like 4,000 or I'm just under that. But anyway, I think it does actually make a difference. Like you can see there, the difference between not having it installed and installed, you can see the amount of blue light coming off those glasses is a lot less than it was in the previous video like the actual previous test with it without Flux installed. So Flux does help, like it does help you. So I can recommend it. So there you go. Uh, anyway, I don't think I need to do a conclusion. Enough said, like Flux works. So if you had to tally those two parts into the whole uh, total, I'd say it'd come around uh, just under $500. And though for the performance and the bang for buck, it is certainly worth it. With this thing performing pretty much better than a four core Haswell, overclocked, and then uh, seriously putting out some serious figures.